The discovery of 215 children's remains at a residential school in Kamloops has once again highlighted the violent legacy of Canada's residential school system. But stories of these tragedies aren't new. They've been shared before by Indigenous peoples, including families who've never been able to see their loved ones again. I, got, I have a picture that I keep on my night table. A precious photograph that also serves as a painful reminder for three sisters. There's a person missing out of that picture. Their brother, Chani Wen Jack, died alone in the cold in 1966, trying to escape a residential school in Ontario. He was only 12 years old. He just wanted to be with his family. It reminds me that when he went, when he didn't go home anymore. Chana's sisters have another painful experience in common. They all survived Canada's residential school system. Sadly, many others didn't, including the 215 children whose remains were just found in Kamloops. I first heard it, uh, it made me cry. And my first thought was that uh, we weren't lying. Indigenous peoples have shared these stories for decades now of what's been oftentimes referred to as cultural genocide. Because I've heard it over and over again and nothing has been done. What's going to be done now? I mean, is there going to be a, are they going to start listening or is that just going to be brushed under the table just like any other thing? Pearl tells me a story that she's only shared three times before. It was this kind of treatment um, that affected me when I when I when I heard about the 215 children. Their older sister Margaret, a mother figure, goes missing after she tries to protect a small child from a teacher using a ruler to strike them. It was the very next day that she disappeared. She had gone to this. Uh, they had sent her to this. Uh, Reform school day, they call. The impacts of Canada's residential school system can be felt here and now, but many of these stories go unknown. And it's a good thing that I, I live alone because uh, I can learn to cry on my own and not to have to affect anybody. As calls are made to investigate Canada's residential school systems and the Indigenous children who never survived, a painful reminder that some families are still left without answers. They're going to have a picture where there's somebody missing. And that's really painful to try to hold on to. Ahead on City News, the call to action and the pledge Canadians are being asked to support.